Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy Lukasiak. Yes, that one, the bad behaved mom from Dance Moms. I feel like I always have to explain who I am at the beginning, but I'm assuming if you are here, you are subscribed to my channel and you know who I am. If you are new here and you'd like to subscribe, hang out with all of the friends here, please hit the subscription button, turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I'm posting. <sighs> okay, so this video this week is going to be slightly different than most of my other videos. A lot of my other videos are either exclusively a vlog video or, you know, a lot of my videos I am sitting here, I'm telling stories, I'm talking, I'm commentating, whatever. But today's video is actually going to kind of be a combination video because I want you to see everything behind the scenes from my perspective. So it is Chloe's 21st birthday. I am literally in shock, right? I cannot believe she's gonna be 21. It's weird, I mean, especially because I'm still 19, so I don't know how I have a 21 year old. Um, maybe she'll buy me wine. You never know. Okay, here's a little BTS from Dance Moms. Do you guys remember in season one when Chloe got in trouble for having her hair down? She had on a red and white polka dot shirt, little white booty shorts. She had her hair back and it was down, but like the top was pulled back and she got in a ton of trouble and was screamed at for having her hair down. So when I think about that, I'm like, oh my God, she was 10 there. And here we are, you know, 11 years later. Thinking back, to when Chloe was born. So I feel like I was pregnant forever. I was only what, 24 when I had her. So I was like totally a baby. And I can remember I was in labor forever. And um, finally I got to the point where I was like throwing up because the pain was so terrible. And I was in the hospital and they were like, would you like drugs? And I'm like, uh, yeah. So as I was laying there, finally I had drugs. I was calm again. Um, look, that's my choice. I wanted to have an epidural. I know some people don't, I did. And like, I wasn't progressing. I wasn't getting ready to have a baby. It was just like having contractions and nothing was happening. So my doctor came in and said, we need to do Pitocin, which Pitocin is like a stimulant. It's like a hormone to get you like moving further along in labor. And when the first contraction came with Pitocin, all these people ran into my room and I'm like, what? And like Mark, it was just Mark and I. And they ran into my room and they were like, okay, they're like checking things and Mark and I are like, what is going on? And then all of a sudden they started throwing like um, things onto my bed. They were unhooking my IV and I'm like, what is happening? They're like, we need to rush you to the OR. And I'm a first time mom, I'm very young. And you know, like Mark and I were clueless and we're like, what's happening? And they said, every time you're, or I shouldn't say every time, when you had that big contraction, the baby's heart rate dropped a lot. Like it went from, I don't know, I'm making these numbers up, but it went from like 160 to like 50. You know, not 150, but like 50, it dropped immediately. So they're like, she's in distress. When you're having contractions, you know, the baby is in distress, we need to run. So we ran down the hall, Mark stayed in the room. He wasn't with me and they were like, we've got to deliver this baby immediately. Now we ran down the hall at seven, like 7.50, 7.55, right somewhere in those couple minutes. Chloe was born at 8.03. Like she was born within eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes of them running me down the hall. Her umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck twice because Chloe was doing backflips in utero. Shocking. So when I was having contractions, she was suffocating. Totally fine. Some babies, you know, really go through a lot of um, difficulties and they have, you know, they're born with long-term issues because of this, but luckily all was fine. Um, I did have an emergency C-section and then Mark was just sitting in the room. He had no idea. Finally, we went back and they're like, congratulations, it's a girl. And he's like, what? He didn't even know she was born because it was such an emergency. So Chloe came into this world very dramatically, not a shock. So that was my big Chloe birth story. So obviously, you know, over the years, we have done so many amazing things, I think, to celebrate her birthday. And I love being like the birthday fairy. It is one of my favorite things in life to do really special things for my kids, for my husband, for anyone I love, my friends, when it's their birthday. It's not always about like spending money, it's just making the little things feel more special. I can remember when we were like completely broke and I would buy like a bag of balloons at the grocery store and just blow them up by mouth and like fill Chloe's room with balloons when she was little. Now obviously, as my girls 
have gotten older, it has gotten slightly more extravagant. And so I really wanted to do something special for Chloe's 21st birthday. She is in a summer class at school right now. So we couldn't like plan a trip. She couldn't come home. She's taking a summer class every single day in school right now for the month of May. So I am actually traveling to California a few days before her birthday uh, for work. I'm going to a training, so I will see her. She thinks that I am going home on Monday. Her birthday is Wednesday. But in fact, Mark and Clara are actually flying out Tuesday morning and we are going to surprise her Tuesday night. Um, I have her meeting us. Uh, she does not know. I have it arranged that she is going to meet us. We're going to surprise her at dinner. And then I have rented a bungalow at the Beverly Hills Hotel, which if you don't know the Beverly Hills Hotel, it is an iconic iconic hotel. It is the place in Hollywood where all of the stars have lived at some point. I feel like like the old school stars like Marilyn Monroe had a bungalow there. Elizabeth Taylor. I have also rented us a pool cabana for the day of her birthday. So lots of fun things planned. I'm going to do some fun things in her room. Um, cakes ordered and I'm going to take you along on the entire journey. So I'm sure that Chloe's going to be doing a vlog all about her birthday but my vlog is going to be behind the scenes how I'm planning this surprise. I hope that you're excited for this video. I'm excited to take you along with me so you can be a birthday fairy too. And we are going to go shopping for her birthday present. We're going to set up the room. I'm going to buy champagne, all of the fun things. So you're going to come along, you're going to be behind the scenes and you're going to get to see her reaction. So let's go. I'm trying to show you the sign and not have a terrible angle. So Pittsburgh institution, everyone comes here for their engagement rings, for their wedding bands and, or their 10th birthday necklaces. Cause that's what I bought Chloe here. <laughs> so do you guys remember we were here, we were shopping and I actually, it could have been, now I'm pretty sure I've seen it. It, it aired. I never go back and watch, but I'm, I know it aired. Today's her 10th birthday. Happy birthday. Thank that's you. That's so special. It's 1,900. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. She is going to do well. Christy. She always does well. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Nancy. Thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited about the choices. Do you guys think I did well? I think I did perfect. I think she's going to absolutely love it. We are here. I'm here setting up for Chloe's birthday. I'm the first one here. It is the middle of the day. Let me show you over here. Here's like, we're out in the gardens next to the bungalow. Okay, so this is our little patio, which we love. We'll be having coffee or room service out here. So these are the iconic bungalows. All right, so here is our room before. I need to get this fly out of here. Come on, fly. So this is the iconic bungalows. And then down here you have, uh, there's me, hello. And you have the bathroom. Over here, here's the cake, 21, the little table.
love it. Yeah, I'm crying. Mm. Aww. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. All right, there's a second thing. Was it so fun to be behind the scenes with us? Oh, I'm so happy that I got to take you on this journey. Please leave a comment below and let me know what part was your favorite. Did you think I pulled the surprise off? Would you, what would you have done differently? And what are your 21st birthday wishes? Or what did you do for your 21st birthday? I made my friends go to Disney World. I'm not even joking. I spent my 21st birthday at Typhoon Lagoon. It's true. I'm a Disney nerd. I always have been. So thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. I'm sending you the biggest kiss ever. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and I will see you back here next week. Bye.